Hello, my name is Mayra Reyes and I'm a marketing engineer in the CDS group at Train. In this video, I will talk about GVXML files, how to import them into Trace to perform a load calculation, and then how to export them from Trace to bring them back to your CAD project. By the end of this video, you will be able to define what is a GBXML file. You will understand the benefits of working with GBXML files in Trace. We will also learn what are Trace capabilities to interact with these files. You will learn how to import and export a GBXML file from Trace, and finally know the best practices to work with these files. Let's start with some definitions. GBXML stands for Green Building XML. XML, or Extensible Markup Language, is a type of computer language that allows software programs to communicate. So, GBXML is an open schema or data layout used to transfer a building data from a modeling software like CAD software to an engineering analysis software such as Trace to perform load calculation and back. In other words, it will transfer a building drawing to calculate loads and bring it back to a drawing. GBXML is an open data schema, which means that anyone can use it for free. It is maintained by more than 200 members of the industry, and around 35 software applications support it, such as Trace 700, Autodesk, Beamstorm, and Dialogues, amongst many others. GBXML now has a funding from the Pacific Northwest National Lab to allow users to integrate it to other tools. Now that we know what GBXML is used for, let's take a look at the advantages of using GBXML files in Trace. You can save time. Around 75% of the time to generate a file in Trace 700 is typically spent in Create Rooms. A GBXML import can reduce this time by more than two-thirds. Once the building is modeled in a CAD program, instead of creating every room in Trace, selecting each type of construction materials and internal loads, one can simply import the GBXML file and that can contain all the building geometry. The same can be done from Trace 700 to GBXML. One can export load calculation results and import them automatically into the CAD software. You can also minimize errors. Using GBXML to transfer project information minimizes errors that occur during double data input. Trace 700 can import the GBXML file produced by a CAD program without having to enter the information all over again. Finally, saving time and minimizing errors can be translated as an increase of productivity. Let's look at some drawbacks of using GBXML files in Trace. First, the file must be created in the CAD software and then imported into Trace. You cannot create a project in Trace and then export it into CAD. It will not generate the drawing of your building. Second, abnormalities or errors generated in the CAD program will be propagated through Trace. For example, walls that are not trimmed leave an open space instead of a room. Finally, notice that a GBXML import into Trace is meant to calculate load design and not energy simulation. Let's look at the steps needed to use a GBXML file in Trace. After the building has been created in the CAD program and it is ready for load analysis, Export GBXML from CAD program. Make sure you save it with a name less than 28 characters and do not use any special characters on it. Number two, import the file into a new Trace 700 file. Select the elements that you want to import. Number three, verify and complete the inputs. Make sure that walls and windows have their actual size and look up for duplicated inputs that might affect the calculation. Don't forget to zone the rooms with their systems. Number four, run the simulation. Number five, verify outputs through the reports. Number six, export the GBXML file from Trace 700. And finally, number seven, 
import the GBXML file to the CAD program, now with the load and airflow calculations. As we have seen, the purpose of importing a GBXML file into Trace is to perform a load calculation. Therefore, Trace can import information needed for that calculation of the building, such as the room areas, roofs, floors, fenestration, construction materials, internal loads, ventilation loads, systems, and zoning of the rooms. However, a GBXML file might not have all of those attributes and it might contain only the building geometry. Notice that every space defined in GBXML will become a room in Tray 700. When importing a GBXML file into Tray 700, a selection must be made of what wants to be imported. Depending on the attributes of the CAD model, Trace can import, if available, internal loads like people, lighting, and miscellaneous loads, ventilation loads, design temperatures, and partitions. Remember that partitions in Tray 700 are internal walls meant to separate areas that have a big temperature difference. If your interior walls separate areas with similar temperatures, you don't need to import them. Importing non-needed partitions might make temperatures drift or might take very long calculation time if there are many partitions in the building. The Check for Remove Drawing Objects option allows Tray 700 to remove any objects that were removed from the GBXML file after the first input into Trace. If after the first input and export from Trace, some changes are made on the CAD software, when it is imported again into Trace, this option can be selected to update the file and calculate it again. The Use Name as Space Identifier option assigns the name to each room from the name attribute created in the CAD program. If unchecked, the room name in Trace will be from the ID attribute in the file. You need to look at the GBXML file to know what each CAD software uses. For example, Revit uses the name attribute. After the simulation has been calculated, the file can be exported from Trace as a GBXML file to then import it into the CAD program, and the design information will be transferred with it. The load design information that can be exported includes space or zone heating and cooling loads, cold sizes, and airflows. This export GBXML feature exports design information only to an existing XML file that was used to create the current trace file. The feature will be grayed out if the file has not been calculated. Let's look at an example using Autodesk Revit. A building with 12 rooms is created as a CAD drawing. We want to export it as a GBXML file to run the load calculation in Trace 700. To do so, we need to go to the main menu, select the option Export, and click on GBXML. The Export GBXML setting window will allow you to select the building type, location, level of complexity, and category. The exported file will have an extension .xml. Make sure that you save it in the same location that you will save the trace file and avoid using special characters for the name. Now let's open trace and create a new file. You can select templates for the building now or wait to see what is imported from the file. So let's go to File, Import GBXML, and we're going to select the file that was created in Revit. We need to choose what we want to import from the GBXML file. I will select all except partitions. Remember that partitions in trays are only needed to separate big temperature difference between rooms. Since my rooms all have the same range, I will not select it. And it's done. Let's check what was imported from my GBXML file. I go to create rooms and I can see how many rooms were created. I can see that there are the 12 that I had from my CAD drawing. I also can go to walls and see if the walls are there. I can see that the walls with their windows 
were imported correctly. You can also check for the size and remember that it will show the area times one. I can see that there are no internal loads or airflow loads because my file did not include them. So I'm going to create them now. I can go to templates and then for the internal loads I can select the general office space. I will also include some light heat gain and miscellaneous load of a standard office equipment. If I go to the airflow tab I can select also general office space ventilation for my rooms and I close. Now I need to create a system. Let's go to create systems and I'm going to select a variable volume with reheat. Notice that the cooling coil location is at a system level for this type of system. Do not forget to select the fan type. I'm going to select a forward curve centrifugal variable frequency drive fan and we'll also add the static pressure. Now we're going to assign the rooms to systems. As I mentioned before, the main coil is at the system level, so everything that I put under the system will be a zone. I'm going to select them all and drag them under the system. If you have questions about how to zone, please check our tutorial video listed at the end of this tutorial. Now each room will act as a zone and each will have its own VAB box. Now we're ready to calculate. We go to calculate and view results and we see that both design and system phases are available now ready to be calculated and we calculate them. I can verify my inputs and outputs through some reports. Here I'm going to take a look at the system checksum report. Remember that the system checksum report is a system page overview of the cooling and heating loads and also the design information so you can use it to check the load design calculation. Here I can see the cooling coil peak, um, the cooling coil selection, heating coil selection and also the air flows. Now that the file has been calculated, we can export it back to a GBXML format. Go to File, Export, and select GBXML. It is very important that you choose the same name of the original file. And it will tell us when it's done. In your CAD software, with your project open, look for the Import GBXML option. Select the result to be imported, such as cooling, heating loads, or air flows for zones or spaces. Now that we know how to export a CAD drawing as a GBXML file, import it into Trace to run load design calculation, and export it again as a GBXML file for the CAD program, let's review some best practices when working with GBXML. First, make sure that all walls are trimmed. If a wall does not touch the next wall, it will be an open space which won't be imported as a room in trace. Also, notice that plenum spaces are imported as rooms. Make sure they are not selected for export in your CAD file. Remember that partitions in trace are meant to separate areas that have big temperature difference. If your interior walls separate areas with similar temperatures, you don't need to import them. You might prevent several problems like temperature drifting or very long calculation time if there are many partitions in the building. Next, keep both your trace and GBXML files in the same location in your local computer. Importing a GBXML file from a server might create some problems. Abnormalities or errors may propagate through GBXML if the original CAD project has mistakes in the drawing or definitions. 
Rooms should have unique names and special characters should not be used for their name. Do not use special characters to name the GBXML file nor the trace file. Verify your inputs. Curved walls might import as many small walls to get that shape. So make sure that you check for repeated elements. Finally, keep it simple. If you would like more information on GBXML and trace interaction, there are a number of resources available to you. First, you can use the user's manual, which is accessible within the program, by going to Help menu, Documentation, and then User's Manual. This will open a searchable PDF of the entire manual. You can also use the F1 Help feature within the program. If you have questions on a certain input, simply hit the F1 button on your keyboard to open up the help file for that particular screen. If you want more technical information, there are several links at the end of this tutorial. The first one is a complete list of exported data. The second one is a document created by Coldstream Software that describes the use of Autodesk Revit MEP 2010 and GBXML, as well as a discussion on integration with Trace 700. The third one contains additional information related to the GBXML schema and trace integration. Finally, for further assistance, if you have a Bali Trace 700 license, you are welcome to give our support center a call or send us an email with your question and we will be happy to help you. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.